Hello, today we are looking at the Oration on the Dignity of Man by Giovanni Pico della Mirandola. In many ways, Giovanni Pico della Mirandola is one of the most important philosophers that we can look at as we conclude our romp through the Renaissance period. Pico della Mirandola wrote extensively. He was a scholar. He was not an artist, as the uh, so were many of the people we've studied, but he was contemporary with many of the artists we have examined. He is so important that uh, 300 years later, uh, the Italians created a coin with his image on the coin. You can see this coin that's pictured here in the left-hand side of your screen in the Washington, D.C. National Gallery of Art. Pico della Mirandola is important because he most clearly expresses the worldview of the Italian Renaissance. This worldview is called humanism. But it's important to know that the humanism of the Italian Renaissance was very different than the humanism of today. The humanism of the Italian Renaissance was an integration of faith and the vibrant focus on humanity that defines the Renaissance period. Pico della Mirandola used sources that were Jewish, uh, Greek, um, Muslim, as well as Christian, as in his writings. He was a scholar, but he was also a deep thinker and a man of faith. As you read his work today, you're reading an excerpt from the book titled Oration on the Dignity of Man. An oration is a speech. So what he composed was essentially a long essay or speech about the amazing character of humanity. In this speech, he draws upon Muslim, Jewish, and Christian sources. And he refers to humanity as the most amazing of God's creations. As you're reading today, I want you to think carefully about how what he writes is related to things that you have read before, particularly when you read Psalm 8 from the Hebrew Scriptures earlier this year. And when you read from the Quran, and when you read from Christian scriptures. It's important to think about the development of ideas. So even if you do not have a faith perspective, the ideas that are expressed by Pico de la Mirandola and those of the ancient writers profoundly influence our humanity, both during the time of the Italian Renaissance and today.